वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द जनरल साइंस सेशन फॉर क्लास फोर एंड टूडे द टॉपिक इज फूड हैबिट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स चिल्ड्रेन यू ऑल नो दैट लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड दे नीड फूड टू ग्रो टू मूव अराउंड एंड टू स्टे हेल्दी वी गेट एनर्जी फ्रॉम द फूड and we use this energy to do various activities on the basis of food habits animals can be classified into three groups herbivores carnivores and omnivores let's first discuss the first group herbivores herbivores as the name suggest herbs herbs means plants so the animals those who eat only plants are called herbivores example cow goat second carnivores the animals those who eat only flesh are called carnivores example lion tiger the third group is omnivores animals those who eat both plants and animals are called omnivores and the examples of this category are humans bears crow etc how animals feed now children the way of eating food depends on the food they eat like when you eat chinese food you eat it in a different style as compared to the indian food same way animals also the food which they are eating so that makes the basis of how they will eat it chewing the cud some plant eating animals first swallow their food and then after some time they bring it back into their mouth and chew it this is called chewing the cud or rumination example buffalo you must have seen children buffaloes they keep on moving their mouth as if they are eating something while you don't see them eating grass or plants or something so what happens they first swallow their food and then they chew their food they bring it back into their mouth and then chew it so this is called rumination you must have seen elephants they have a big strong trunk and that trunk they use for lifting logs of wood drinking water and eating food tearing the food carnivores like wolves and tigers have long pointed teeth called canines they use them to tear flesh you can see in this picture in both the jaws upper and lower there are two long pointed teeth they are called canines and are used to tear flesh next is gnawing the food some animals like squirrels rabbits have a pair of sharp long front teeth in both the jaws they bite and repeatedly chew the seeds and fruits with the help of these teeth so their front teeth are very long and sharp and they gnaw the food with their with the help of these teeth swallowing the whole food some animals like frogs snake crocodiles etc swallow their food without chewing they swallow the food whole whole food they swallow they don't bite it okay lapping up milk or water some animals like dogs cats lap up milk or water with their tongue sucking the food butterflies have a long coiled tube they suck nectar nectar from flowers with its help you can see the picture 
butterflies are very beautiful in the second picture you can see its long coiled tube with the help of this tube it sucks nectar from the flowers another animal leech it sucks the blood of animals with its mouth now children there are so many animals out of those some animals we keep with us to do work for us they work for us like donkeys horses they all do work for us they are called domestic animals some animals we keep for our entertainment like birds parrots dogs and all they are called pet animals so we keep some animals to do work for us such animals are called domestic animals some animals are kept for our entertainment they are known as pet animals we should take proper care of these animals they should be properly fed and their hygiene should also be taken care of they should be given enough food and water and also they should be given bath regularly so that they may keep themselves clean their shelter should be clean regularly you know that a dog lives in a kennel horse lives in a stable and so on so their shelter should also be cleaned regularly and if they fall sick they should be taken to special doctors who treat animals and they are called veterinary doctors all animals should be treated with love and kindness children it is a duty to take care of animals we should be kind to animals and love them treat them with love i hope this topic is clear to you all go through this video and read them and try to remember the important points thank you